Hey you guys, it's me Jeremiah initially here. Uh, what I want to do is come to you today with a digital marketing training for 2024. Uh, this is going to be solely for you guys that are affiliates, that are product creators, that are business on digital business owners also. So that's typically who be watching my YouTube videos, who be following me on the internet. So I decided to go ahead and create a training for you guys that emailed me many different questions about affiliate marketing or about digital businesses or product creation. So what I want to do is dive deep into showing you exactly how you can actually record content or build landing pages, create ads and create content around affiliate products, around the products or services that you may have to offer and actually get those products out there. All right. So I want you guys to understand this. Just diving straight into it, the first thing that you need to take note is you have to have tools and businesses. So you can't just be expecting this stuff just to work right off the gate and you don't have any tools whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and move that box up right there. But first and foremost, don't think that just because you have a product or that you decided to promote or offer that you decided to promote that it's just going to convert. All right. Don't think that whatsoever. But you do have to realize you're, if you're an internet marketer, you need a website. Like you got to have a site whatsoever to run. And in this case scenario, what it all boils down to, to is actually having hosting software. So having your own hosting, not a Wix account, not a Squarespace account, not a blogger, not something like that. That's some something you paying like two hundred dollars a month for just for a website. No, you need something that you can edit that you can change on the back end that you can actually add tools and stuff uh, too. So that's why like I prefer personally like something like web hosting. So I, I go with uh, Hostanger, Bluehost, uh, things like that. So hosting software is going to give you the ability to make those changes on the back end of your site that you need to make. Um, secondly is you need a domain. No matter what, it only going to cost you $10 a year to have one domain. I really recommend that you have two domains minimum, one to run products and one for your business. So you, again, you can't say that you're a digital entrepreneur or digital creator whatsoever and you don't even have a domain. Um, buying domains is actually a form of well property. So no matter if you have hosting or not, having a domain is like having a signature on the internet. Do not never say, well, I got a blogger site or I have a Wix site and I'm just sending traffic to the landing page and then to the offer. Well, that means you don't have no control whatsoever over the traffic you have. The only thing you're doing is just posting ads and making noise and sending that noise to something. So it's just like screaming. Um, it's like screaming beer, 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 but you don't have any beer. Or if you do have beer, you're, you basically have Bud Light beer that you're giving away, basically. And some people may take it. Doesn't mean it's not going to work forever, but some people may take it. Uh, but having that domain and having hosting software is two core factors that you need to have, two tools that you need to have. And more than importantly, when it comes down to marketing and advertising, that's why you need to have tracking software. Why? So you know exactly where your traffic is coming from, where the people is coming from, where where your traffic is going, what offers they're clicking on, what landing pages they're clicking on, what articles they're reading. Like you can see it. tracking software is the tool that gives you a bird's eye view of your business. Like it gives you a bird's eye view of exactly what's working, what's not working inside your business. And fourth, uh, an email autoresponder. So if you don't have an email autoresponder whatsoever going on, then you can collect leads, but if you're not talking to them, then you just build on the list. All right. You want to be able to nurture that list and talk to that audience as frequently as possible. So that's the thing. Having an email autoresponder alongside with tracking software will show you, hey, this person is reading my email. This person isn't reading my email. Well, this costing me, let's say, five cents to send out a newsletter every time I promote it to this person. I should cut I should cut this person off my list and I should scale up on this person. So the whole point is being able to cut off your losing variables and scale up on your winning variables. 
all right and so that same methodology uh, goes into advertising so I really recommend especially if you're a newbie or you're an advanced marketer that you have an advertising account such as TikTok ads meta ads Google ads preferably and also you can try other platforms but the core platforms that I really recommend is meta ads number one but TikTok ads because that's one of the trending platforms that's still going up meta ads and then Google ads why because of the simple fact these advertising plat platforms of 2024 take over mobile news feed. That's the reason, that's the sole reason I really, really recommend TikTok, Meta, and Google. Why? Because Google ads, you have YouTube ads. With Meta ads, which is Facebook, you have Facebook and Instagram ads. With TikTok, obviously, you have TikTok ads. And with this, short form videos is the number one medium that's being streamed in 2024 and it's have been streamed in 2023 so looking back at the past you can see what was working in the past and now you can implement that in the future all right so again don't overcomplicate this process start with the basics then go advance the right tools will change your life understand hosting track hosting having a domain tracking software in an email autoresponder is the core basics that you need to have and preferably an ad account also so after you build up your system that you feel more than confident in the advertising can actually enhance the visitors to come to you so advertising is the last thing we want to focus on we want to have a hosting and our domain in place and we want to have our tracking software in place so we want to build our site we want to have our site fully functional and we want to have tracking software to read exactly everything that's going on on our site whether people are leaving comments where these people are coming from is they're coming from the united states what side of the country believe it or not the west coast is completely different than the east coast and the east coast is completely different than the north so understanding like which side of the united states that your traffic is coming from or which side of the world so sometimes I may get traffic from Australia sometimes. I may get traffic from the UK. I may get traffic from the Middle East. I may get traffic from many different countries. And being able to structure that traffic and send those people or redirect them to the right offer increases conversion rate and decreases spam clicks and bots. So that's why you want to have tracking software too to cut out the bots and the traffic of that nature. I really recommend that you guys go ahead and start with this. If you haven't, if you Go ahead and get started with this. Uh, but if you already kind of got past this phase, um, you know, this isn't for you. I would really recommend that you keep focusing on inside this presentation here. And also stay to the end because I'm actually going to give you guys something pretty special at the end of this presentation here. All right. So don't overcomplicate the process. Start with the basics. Get a site up. Get a domain up. Get your tracking software, which I actually explained. And have an email autoresponder. People reluct the power of email marketing. It's one of the oldest forms of marketing whatsoever. Uh, primarily, people change their phone number frequently, but their email account, they typically take that, they keep the same email for at least 10 to 20 years. And it have been proven that people will maintain the same email over the same phone number. So SMS is great for like instantaneous traffic, but email marketing is still one of the leading traffic forms, forms of traffic there is on the internet. Even better than just old sites, I'm gonna be honest with you, because even if you have a list of contacts of people that's frequently uh, see you or in their inbox or they know exactly what topic they're in, uh, you're in, they're more inclined to read your email and actually shop from your email more than from cold traffic why because email marketing is considered warm traffic all right so understand that is very important a lot of people neglect it they all a lot of affiliates and a lot of digital marketers want to do a thing called direct linking which is cool but it's not successful for long-term results all right so even to this day my email list is still being built up like regardless i have multiple different niches i have I have an email list in stay at home moms. I have email list in weight loss. I have an email list in um, utilities. Like those lists give you on demand traffic. Like you can literally take a good offer and promote to that traffic instantaneously. Like, well, promote to that list and get traffic instantaneously there. All right. So moving forward, next thing you need to know for you guys that are 
ah, like all over the place, like scratching the walls and pulling out the hair and stuff. Uh, it, it really comes down to the fact that you probably don't know principalities and principalities over instant gratifications. And I'm going to say it like this, because once you have principles, it gives you structure. Like, whether you're doing that in life, whether you're doing that in business, whether you're doing that in relationship, whether you're doing that um, with your additional affiliate career. Uh, principles give you structure on how to proceed and handle situations. And having certain principles when it comes to the digital world can literally, no matter what campaign is being thrown at you or what traffic source is being thrown at you, everything comes down to the boiling principles of certain things uh, one that I always tell affiliates is more than definitely tracking testing optimization tracking testing optimization first you need to track everything so just like I said here we need tracking software how the hell track software well, we need hosting software to have our own uh, sites to be hosted on our own hosting software so we can track so that's why it falls into the same line like why hosting give us a whole lot more control than initially having our sites on Wix, all right? And hosting give us, and having our own domain give us a whole lot more control because we can edit our domain to do better email marketing, better tracking software, better hosting. So that's kind of like why you want to have certain tools in place. So that's why I recommend hosting software, domains, tracking software, and email marketing. Going back to principles, tracking, testing, optimization gives you the bird eye view. So that gives you that eagle view that that eagle that flies super high that can show you okay well ad copy one isn't working ad copy two is working all right let me test this idea i got a great idea that i feel like it's going to work well let me test it with my principles okay rather than let me just stop everything i'm doing and just throw this against the wall no don't just start throwing pizza against the wall and see if the cheese or the pepperoni is going to stick like you really want to see exactly strategically how you can test an ad copy or land a page or offer um, first and then once you do that now since you have certain principles to do that you can then go into optimization like for instance I'm gonna give you an example if you're testing a campaign on a $20 day budget you have um, which I'm gonna dive into the 62 principles set sh shortly here um, you want to basically see exactly all right five dollars for uh, uh, $20 for seven days, all right? $20 for seven days, that's $140, okay? $140, and now you can optimize the campaign to see exactly, okay, well, Monday, this campaign did well. Friday, it did terrible. Saturday, it did terrible, but Sunday, it did well also. So now you can kind of see exactly which days is actually working for your campaign, so you can apply a thing called day partying. All networks have it. This is a thing. That's a thing that a lot of newbie affiliates don't practice is day partying. So understanding which time of the day can actually perform best for your campaign all comes down to what? Tracking. You have to have tracking software to see your conversion rate, to see your landing pages, to see how much you're spending, to see all that stuff. You need the tracking software to see that. Testing is testing the nuance and the new ideas that come up in your head. All right, I got an idea that this is gonna work. Well, with tracking software, let me say, okay, I'm gonna take, let's say 25% of my traffic that's already working, and I can put point that 25% of my traffic to the new idea, to the new landing pages, to the new ads, so I can see exactly what's working. Now, if that 25% of traffic converts heavily, now I could take that one ad or two ads that I decided to test, that idea that I decided to test, and let's say that idea is a success. Now I can take that ad and I can optimize the ad to tweak it to make it better, meaning I can tweak that ad to make a better headline, to make a better body text, to change the image in the background, to change the headline, to change the subheader. Tweaking that ad to optimize the ad and testing it is what's going to give me better results in the long run. So that's why principle number one, tracking, testing, optimization, is going to give you the bird eye view to see what's working. All right. Principle number two here is 622 principle. All right. Organizing your testing ads. All right. 
most affiliates don't actually understand how to test the ad so what you guys are doing is you logging into Facebook you're creating one ad or you're creating one campaign and basically you're choosing one targeting you probably got a hundred keywords in there or a hundred uh, different um, interests inside your campaign which is terrible why because you're making a mistake from the jump like you literally just logging inside an ad network and you just putting stuff in that you think is gonna work and nothing's working whatsoever okay that's completely false and a lot of times you can spend so much money on ads and it's not really that your ads not working it could be your landing page that's not working and or it could be your offer that's not working and you not doing the testing the proper testing to actually see exactly what's working and what's not working so the 622 principle is basically boiling down to in testing six ads at one time two landing pages and two offers and that's a minimum of what you should test you can do 12 ads you could do four landing pages you could do four offers you could do that based on your budget but minimum to have control over your campaign and the best optimized it results so you're not hitting your head against the wall or pulling hair out is you need to have at least six ads minimal in every campaign and then you need to have at least two landing pages in every campaign and two and two offers uh, six different ads of different variations of that ad because all ads perform differently in many different cases. So that's why I really recommend that you have six different ads inside your campaign. Two landing pages, one could be a click-through landing page and one could be a long-form landing pages. Based on the audience, you do not know what's going to work until you run the traffic. The same thing with the ads. The same thing with the landing page the same thing with the offer you do not know what's going to work until you see the results and from there that's when you can build based on that and a lot of times i say two offers two of the same type of offers is because of the simple fact that a lot of times it could not be your campaign that's not working it could be the offer in many cases scenario i ran the same offer from two different affiliate networks or cpa networks and Offer from this network sucks. Offer from network A sucks. Offer from network B is great. So you may have the same offer and it could be the network that sucks. Or you may have a good campaign and it could be offer one that sucks and offer two that works very well. So organizing your testing involves back down to the 622 principle. And once you understand that, that's when you're able to see with your tracking software, with your testing, the new idea that you test. So if you created a, uh, like a brand new ad that you think is well, you put it in one of those six ads. You created a landing page that you think is going to vert. You put it in one of the two landing pages you have. And now with that, now you can start optimizing your campaign. But you have to understand the 622 principle before even running an ad, before setting this stuff up. You need to understand that. All right. Swipe, deploy and approve. Uh, swipe, deploy and approve is the fastest way to success. It's not even a joke. It's literally taking what's working and running with it. And instead of recreating the wheel, a lot of the times based on the ad network, you can see what ad is working or what campaign is working. A lot of times for other affiliates, if the campaign have been running for more than two weeks, I say 14 days, which you can use with certain spy tools to see if the ad have been running for more than 14 days, it's probably working for somebody on the back end in some form or manner. And with that type of campaign, Swipe, Deploy, and Approve is basically taking campaigns that's working and running it for yourself. Self. Instead of trying to recreate the wheel and all that stuff, you just take what's working already and duplicate and scale. That's called SDI. So if you ever talking to me and I say, hey, just SDI this campaign or this right here, I literally mean download this landing page, download these ads, down, uh, find the offer, uh, find the offer network that has this offer. And basically what we're going to do is duplicate a campaign just like it and we're going to test it. And then we're going to do track and test and optimization on that using the 622 principle. So if I ever mention let's SDI campaign, that's what we're going to do. All right. And so swipe, deploy, and approve is, again, is seeing what's working. You're swiping, you're taking what's working, and then you're setting what's already working up, which is deploying it. And now after you set it up and you run the traffic to it, now you make it your own by improving it. So you see the statistics 
of this campaign in the placements of the campaign and now you improve the placements of it you improve the conversion rate of it so now you can have success for yourself why instead of testing from scratch you're testing from what's working already all right and this other one trust nobody but your tracker like trust nobody but your tracker believe in bots and competition all right i'm a uh, this one is gonna be a little different here all right trust nobody don't trust the ad network don't trust the affiliate network don't trust don't trust nobody that's why you want a lot of times your own tracking software and sometimes in some cases you want self-hosted tracking software all right depending on what you're doing um trust no one because every network is down to make as much as money everybody you have to look at this everybody is looking to make as much as money as possible all right the ad network is looking to run ads to you and spend your budget like for instance i'm gonna give you an example i spent 50 dollars on a campaign and got like one to two conversions off of the campaign like literally i didn't i, I didn't i didn't check anything all right but my tracking software and a lot of that traffic have been bought trap bought traffic it been robots they have been just clicks and a lot of ad network will throw a lot of bot traffic at you uh low quality traffic at you just to give you clicks and so they can make money in many cases scenario i, I genuinely believe it's not the ad network uh fault i believe it's more so on some of the publishers that work with certain ad networks that same bot traffic so the hunger for some networks and for some publishers to make money they will they would fake clicks to your website and those fake that fake traffic it may seem real inside the tracking software or seem real inside the the traffic stats like let's say if you're just counting hits it may seem real but inside your tracking software you're tracking IPs you're tracking devices you're tracking browsers you're tracking where this person was located how long they've been on your website so you see whether or not this was a real person or was this just a bot and so with tracking software that's why I say trust no one but your tracker why because your tracker is gonna tell you the truth all right just looking at hits you just seeing hits you don't see what's really going on all right believe in bots because a lot of people farm clicks like they farm traffic like you have bot you have bot farms or traffic farms and stuff like that where people specifically try to manipulate the system to actually get fake traffic and so when you run in paid ads they're getting paid from an ad network and you're paying the ad network all right so they're getting paid from the same network whether it's facebook google uh being or TikTok, they're paying the that network is paying them to send traffic and you're you're the actual person that's paying for the traffic and many of the guys that may have shady sites uh that's why i avoid networks like juicy ads doesn't don't get me wrong because juicy ads does have some good uh traffic sources on there but i do avoid avoid networks like that because of the simple fact that there is a lot of bot traffic there's a lot of fake traffic on those networks and you have to be aware of the amount of fake traffic on networks like juicy ads all right and competition all right these are i'm telling you everything that's gonna bring your campaign down like a lot of new affiliates is not aware of this is the stuff that it's not pretty but you need to know all right competition if you're in competition on a in a certain placement or a certain industry a niche or something like that and you're running ads there's two things someone may outbid you legit real competition that have a genuine product is going to outbid you and try to steal all the traffic from you and break you with budget that's gonna try to break you financially all right compared to ads and you can still convert your traffic and get gain profit but it's really gonna be determined on how well you can win on the back end to keep your front end traffic meaning if you can break even on the front end and make money let's say you're spending a dollar making a dollar and fifty on the front end or spending a dollar making two dollars that's great 
you still want to win on a back end by actually having another product or service that's going to increase your profit margins and decrease stress. All right. And that's how you break that competition. And then you have black hat competition, like the ruthless competition. The ruthless competition will actually find your tracking link and find your domain. And then they're going to send bot traffic to your domain to shut you down or to over, to cause you to overspend the advertising costs so that you can get shut down that way. So understand, look, this is the real world. Like you have to see certain things and know certain things to be able to get to the next level. All right. So I'm just letting you guys know, like, hey, don't just upload an ad and think it's going to be all picture perfect and stuff. And even if it is, you want to have what tracking software. What's the main thing I said? Tracking software. That's one of the most key factors of having. So you know what's going on. And what's what's the principle you want to abide by? Tracking, testing, optimization. Every single time. Track everything, test new verticals, optimize your campaign for the best results. Why? That's how you skip. That's how you see what's working. All right. And the second thing is well, the last thing is join live masterminds and go to events. All right. And, and join boot counts for more insider knowledge. Um, there's there's four things that all humans seek, and is to acquire more. It's relationships, is knowledge, and it's defense. So every business in the world is based on those four things. Like to acquire something, whether it's money, whether it's success, whether it's gains, uh, health, uh, something like that. Uh, where it's love, compassionship, relationship with family, relationship with friends, influence, stuff like that. Uh, uh, thirdly, is knowledge, like to know more, to actually be better off. Like anytime that you went a long period of time without learning, you get fog mind and depression. And what happens is you natively as a human, you seek to learn more things. Um, and to get this super insight, and the last thing I'm gonna just tell you is to defense, is to defend whatever you have, all right? And I say that to say this is, join live masterminds, it's because a lot of the sauce is not inside courses. Like the Warrior Plus, the JV Zoo courses, you may learn a little bit of stuff, but a lot of the real knowledge is not inside courses. It's inside the live masterminds. It's going to the events. It's joining the boot camps. It's getting that insider knowledge because a lot of people is not gonna just share their secrets just flat out on the internet. They're not just gonna just, oh, this worked for me. Here, steal everything I got. And so I don't have anything again. Not everybody's gonna do that, all right? so. Understand like once you get in certain groups and certain masterminds and you start going to certain events You start to rub shoulders with people that have that insider knowledge that can take you from this level to that level And so that's what you want to do and now those ideas of what they can share with you You can start to implement them and now you can have major success. All right That's probably one of the best things that I've done personally is start to network with higher above people because that always give me a competitive edge over my competition now for instance i'm cold with facebook i know how to use facebook all right when facebook start getting popular with ads i didn't even want to touch facebook i wanted to stay on being ads i wanted to stay on search traffic i didn't even want to deal with facebook why because i'm like screw the social world i want to stick with the search traffic the informational lane all right but once you start getting in those circles, those groups, I start to see the benefits of Facebook ads and TikTok ads uh, and Instagram ads. And I start to see, OK, wow, we can really gain a lot of conversions on the front end if we understand how to implement this strategy with this by giving them that. So that's why you want to go to those events. That's why you want to join those boot camps for more insider knowledge. All right. You will learn more spending a thousand dollars with testing these principles than buying campaigns and more courses. Don't buy campaigns and don't buy courses. You want to learn from scratch with the right principles and with the right circle and the right people. All right, understand that. And that's why I say you will learn by spending more, spending a thousand dollars testing ads 
Like, if you take note of everything you do while testing your ads, like everything you do, like a mad scientist, you will learn more that way than you would just keep buying courses and stuff. All right. Focus on creating better ads. All right. A lot of a lot of affiliates, a lot of digital creators do not focus on this part right here. Uh, most marketers fail because of the, because they focus on the funnel more than the message. Uh, when you, you win when you're able to write a message that's appealing to the marketplace meaning you can have the best marketing in the world but if you're saying the wrong words no one is going to relate to you like literally you can get like for instance all right Kanye West just did a ad for the Super Bowl he got in front of literally everybody in front of the country he spent what seven million dollars for the ad it brought him back what 19 million dollars overnight all right and I'm pretty sure the next day the revenue kept growing and probably end up being well over 20 to 30, 30 million dollars. I'm pretty sure because everything just doesn't happen once. Um, understand the message. The marketing is the strategy to get there. The message is the word. OK, that's the thing that pulls people in and calls them to look and understand trigger words. Now receive new get yours ready. Those are action taking words that people automatically gravitate automatically. Like I can also use the word free, like free. If I say free, a lot of people say, hey, you can get this for free. Everyone's seeking to see what it is they can get for free. Why everyone wants something for free. All right. Now, meaning it's going to happen right now. Instant gratification receive, meaning they're gaining something out of it is new It's something new to them. All right. They can get they can gain. It's yours. It's pointing the energy back to them, so it's theirs. They know that. And ready, meaning they can get it now. All right. So understanding trigger words is a big factor to actually having effective ads. And once you have effective ads, it's so much more easier to scale your campaign because it's a simple fact that people can see what they can receive. All right. How you can help them now. That's the thing that you want to focus on. Another thing to having great ad copy is actually asking questions. A lot of people do not ask questions or ask enough questions in the sales process of their ad copy, their landing page, their, their uh, articles, or the offer itself. And the thing you want to do is when you're asking questions, is you're pre framing the, the reader's or the viewer's mind. And when you do that, you can say, Are you struggling with losing diabetes? Are you struggling with losing weight? Are you ready to change your life? Uh, would you like to know my five top secrets to actually tie my shoe? Uh, what is bothering you? Uh, when are you, when is the right time? Uh, where did your motivation go? Uh, how to fix something? All right. So questions is something that is thought provoking. It stops it create it stop people in what they're doing it create inertia and then you give trigger words more as a call to action to get those people to pull in um, and also last benefits so I'm gonna I'm go in benefits but let me go on questions again questions initially how can I put this it pre frame people mind into certain to thinking certain things that gives you as the affiliate as the marketer a whole lot more traffic why because it sparked curiosity it gets people to the page all right if they relate to the question or if they ask the question and it sparked curiosity in their, their head and say hey this bothers me i want to know more it that's what a question does like it asks them a question and they relate to the question and then off of one of the words could be a trigger word in the question and then they click on it so that's one way you get traffic uh, you can have the best marketing in the world but if you apply questions and trigger words inside the ad that's how you get the traffic to flow through the marketing think of marketing think funnels all right think of ads think words all right and benefits Having certain benefits displayed is letting people see what they can gain out of it. What's in it for them? Asking a question, displaying benefits, and giving trigger words. Like, literally, do this now. All right, this can help solve your problem. Are you ready to solve your problem of having a flat tire? All right, this is what it can do. 
we can solve this we can change the flat to a full tire we can increase the speed of your car initially just by clicking this button now and now you can receive the details uh, of getting a new tire or something like that so i just made that whole phrase up but i just wanted to kind of put it in a sentence so you can kind of see how that could be an ad copy a generic ad copy for people to click all right so focus on creating better ads will increase your ctr your click through rate on your ad the CTR on your landing page, and then also causing you to have more conversions. All right, think about this is boring but effective. Boring but effective. Understand this boring stuff makes you rich. Like boring stuff, boring tasks will make you rich. All right, blog articles is by far the best landing pages to have converting, to have converting far more than using builders why because it's naturally it's natural to the end users like it's not overselling or over complicated to understand like when people is on the internet they sometimes expect to read the article so like when you're on google sometimes you expect to go to an article and read certain topics on it and then a lot of times you may have the pop-ups that may turn you off but many case scenarios that's what a lot of users are actually searching the internet for is to read and more consumers blog articles uh, for factual more consumers blogs um, articles for factual information so meaning which I mean by that is a lot of people look at blog articles for facts you have a health issue you're probably googling how do I solve this problem how do I fix my bad tooth how do I uh, remove fungus from this or something like that you're looking at articles you're reading about it you're looking for factual information and you may read it on a blog or something and also it builds more authority for your sites compared to a selling landing page alone and a great solution is to send blog articles to your landing page then to your offer all right and what i mean by that having your funnel place valuable information number one content building valuable information whether it's a video blog article whatsoever have that valuable information on the topic then send those people over to a landing page that you created and then from that landing page that's when you sell them on the idea of the offer all right tip here's a major tip that can literally increase your conversion rate like literally I'm not even exaggerating that's why I say the boring stuff is effective run paid ads run paid display ads all right I'm just say run paid ads. I wrote display ads run paid display ads to a blog post first will increase your conversion rate all right, I'm going to give you an example again. Another example um, is I ran a campaign on Facebook ad straight to a blog article. I did a campaign on Facebook, sent it to a lead form. From that lead form, I sent them to a blog article to read. After they read the article, that's when they went to a custom landing page. And from that custom landing page, I sent them to the offer. Conversion rate went straight through the roof. Why? Because I have a 50% click through rate on the blog article. As people see the blog article, they read the blog article, they see the content, they build the trust, they more inclined to get whatever they're desiring because they're clicking on the landing page and from the landing page to the offer, they're signing up. And so that's why I always recommend blog articles to a landing page to an offer. All right. The boring task will make you rich. And that's blogging and articles is probably about by far the boring most boring this thing on the internet to do and emailing emailing is very boring too but understand boring tasks will make you rich all right another thing here a uh, major major thing tweak your landing page to convert all right you always want to tweak your landing page to convert a lot of people just have this simple landing page headline sometimes they don't even have a headline on it and they just have an image and then a button and a lot of people just have like a, in, a headline and a button and the thing is that that's not cool i'm gonna be honest with you that's not cool it's okay but that's not cool don't do that like don't do that um i understand i'm not even gonna say it's okay no it's not okay it's not okay most affiliates or digital creators are even taking the aren't even taking the step to even create a landing page that's another thing a lot of people they just send and drive it straight to the offer and expecting to make money i don't know how but that's what they're trying to do it never works trust me so many affiliates go through that same rat race and it never never works it fails repetitively every single time 
Do not do this. Yes, you can make money direct linking. Is it worth it? No. Trust me, it's not even worth it. All right. Why? The goal of the landing page is to pre-sell your audience on your offer before even displaying the offer, right? So what the landing page does is it display the benefits of the offer, the social proof of it, helping people out. All right. It create a relatable headline that actually is good for people and then there you can do it so give me another example you never kissed a girl in the first 20 seconds unless you know unless you doing something right but no don't never kiss the girl in the first 20 seconds that's the fastest way to get someone to run away okay like don't never do that so you don't ask people for a conversion by just running traffic to the offer and you have no control doing that like you're not even tracking you're not even you don't have no control doing that don't don't do that okay just don't do that don't just put it like that like that the lady on family guy said no 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 okay no all right things you need on your landing page this is very important take note of this write this down if you need to uh compelling relatable headlines all right you need a headline that is Compelling, meaning it draws people attention in it's relatable it gives them emotion uh, to them all right second thing social proof so people buy from people not a company they're not gonna buy from your domain they're gonna buy from the results of what they show your domain did for other people all right let me say that again they're gonna buy from the results that your domain show that it have done for other people social proof testimonials uh, people bragging about it comments stuff like that engagement social proof when p other people is talking good that's when they jump aboard all right benefits and examples displaying the benefits is showing the audience of what your product and service can do for them and then also the example is actually showing them hey here's an example of what we can do the benefits they can see logically hey this can help me in this category this can solve this problem this can solve that problem showing at least four or five benefits that's it right there showing at least for social proof seven people that's it right there okay i'm just gave you a whole nother key tip in this training here in a step-by-step -step process to solve the problem now you logically showing them hey you do this you're going to achieve this outcome you do this, you're going to achieve this outcome. You do this, you're going to achieve this outcome. Now, a step-by-step -step process is giving them logically an explanation of how you can help solve their problem or how this product or service is going to solve the problem. And what you do, once you provide that logic, you give them a clear call to action. You just told them what to do. You tell them how to get started. Get started now. All right. Change your life now. All right, that could be your clear call to action. Sign up now. All right, that's what you want to do. Clear call to action. And image or videos of the product and service. Image or videos always, especially in today's time, uh, show a before and after of the results of what people could achieve. That's what I mean by that. It could be a video, it could be an image. Preferably, if it's like low end offers, I would say an image. Why? Because you don't want to have a video of people thinking about it and pandering and guessing or whether they should sign up. You want to just display the before and after right in there let them go ahead and click that get started button and then also they can go ahead and sign up a lot of times those videos do like um higher ticket offers and things of that nature videos is going to actually do a whole lot better especially if they watching the video and they actually have to make a conscious decision on signing up or purchasing it then i could say a good video will convert traffic a whole lot better so understand tweak your landing page to convert you need to take note of this information here because this is what caused stuff to work. Okay, this is logically, this is what have been tested years and years to cause things to work. All right. So ready to make cash doing affiliate marketing. All right. So this is kind of like what I want to show here. You guys that's ready to make cash doing affiliate marketing. Tackle a big project. To tackle a big project, you must start by completing many small goals all right so if you have a big task the way to achieve that big task is by executing many micro goals around that big task and once you got that it's easier to do so to 
if you gotta eat something big, you might wanna start with many small bites, okay? All right, <laughs> that's what I'm just saying there. Focus on converting your campaign profitable first, then focus on scaling. That's my philosophy. That's an issue that I've seen a lot of affiliates make that mistake. They focus on scaling, they're focusing on making money, they're focused on trying to do big things first, but their campaign is not profitable. No matter if you spend, I'm gonna tell you another example. No matter if you spend five dollars or fifty dollars a day on the first day of advertising on Facebook, they're both gonna give you the same results. All right, no matter if you spend five dollars or fifty dollars a day on Google, it, both first days is gonna give you the same results. So why not minimize, because we're in the game of making money, cash, minimize the risk of what we're spending in the beginning, see, get data, collect data, analyze that data, tweak that data, and then scale up on that data, all right? So that's why I say, focus on converting your campaign profitably first, and then scale. So if we're spending five dollars and we're spending that five and we're turning it into ten, now we can spend ten dollars and turn it into twenty. Now we can spend twenty dollars and turn it into forty. Rather than spending fifty dollars and trying to rush the process and only making zero dollars and getting upset and wanting to throw your laptop away. So you don't want to do that. All right. So this next one, I say, many marketers focus on making a lot of money first without understanding the process to get the campaign to convert. If you're spending your money on a campaign and you're not even doing any of the principles I'm telling you, tracking, testing, optimization, 62 principle, any of these things whatsoever, um, you're not doing what it takes to get it to convert. You want to focus on converting the campaign first. Once you have that converting campaign, then it's easier for us to understand where our money is coming from. Where is the income is coming from? That's the whole point of tracking software. So you can see where the convergence is coming from. Once you know where the convergence is coming from, it's easier for us to scale up that campaign, okay? Increase, all right? So inside the G7 training, we have newbie-friendly campaigns for you to SDI, meaning to copy and paste, basically going back to the other process. What's the fastest way to success? Like, let's go back to it. Fastest way to success is SDI, swipe, deploy, and approve, all right? So inside the G7 training, what we do is we give you campaigns for you to SDI, for you to swipe, deploy, and approve. So, so basically, in which I would recommend you focus on starting, uh, is swipe campaigns that work, get success, and then what you do, what, what you do in the SDI principle, swipe, you deploy, and you improve, meaning you make it your own. You improve what's working right now, and then you make it your own, put your own flavor on it, and now that decrease your competition in the marketplace, all right? So the more you improve your campaign, the more you decrease your competition in the marketplace, the more profit margins for your angle of advertising, which I will recommend you focus on starting a small and start starting small and scale for maximal to understand maximal understanding and profits. Why I say maximal understanding and profits, so you know we we're not in the business of guessing. We're in the business of knowing. And if you're in the business of of guessing, then you're not in business. You're in the business of knowing. You want hard factual information, and you want profits. Spend less, make more. Spend less, make more. That's profits. That's take home. That's revenue, and that's income. Okay. So you want high revenue, and you want high income, high profit margins. That's what we're in the business of. All right, warm. Uh, not Warren Buffett, uh, Andrew Carnegie, who was it, who was it, uh, Dale Carnegie, uh, it was one of the Carnegie's or one of the top uh, founding founders of America said, the whole point of business is to spend as less as possible and to make as much as possible. That's how you make money, all right? All right, another thing I'm about to tell you guys, learn, apply, scale. Learn, apply, scale. Learn what to do, do what you're taught, and scale all right if you find something if you learn something that can work you apply it to see to get it to work for you and then you scale it up all right to maximize your income so learn exactly how to take your affiliate career from a hundred dollars a month to ten thousand dollars a month using these simple principles also apply the exact methods that's given campaigns um 
campaigns to run is even included inside, which I'm saying. Learn, learn what it takes, basically. Learn what it takes. No matter what, just learn what it takes. All information is information. You got good information, you got bad information. You got misinformation, um, miscellaneous information, you got false information. You got information that's going to give you instant gratification, which you want to stay away from. You got instant information that's going to give you long-term gratifications, which sometimes you want in many cases. Learn what works. Apply the exact methods that's given. Like Apply the strategy. Apply the principles that I'm sharing. Uh, and scale... Get micro success overnight and scale your success daily. Don't rush the process. Slow success is better than no success. All right. I always preach that. It's better for you to have micro gains that's very beneficial to you than to have macro losses. Like you don't want big losses. I will prefer micro wins than big losses. So focus on micro success overnight and scale your success daily. Don't rush the process. Slow success is better than no success. All right, understand that. Uh, fact: If I turn ten dollar ad spend to twenty overnight, it's better than me spending zero dollars for zero. For spending <laughs> if I turn ten dollar ad spend into twenty overnight, it's far better than spending a hundred dollars for zero dollars. Why? Well, at least well at the ten dollar level, I can see what working. Meaning, I'm collecting data. I'm tracking so I can see exactly which landing page is working, which ad copy is working, which vertical is working, which offer is working. Um, I can see what's working. That's the major fact. And then I can scale along what's working there. Okay. All right. So again, join G7 today at a discount rate. The normal price is $3,000 for the information that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, based on your experience of being in the digital world, I create four different trainings. All right. So everything that i'm talking about here for my students i do charge three thousand dollars for it all right and that's kind of like low balling because some guys charge ten thousand dollars for the information i'm sharing some guys charge fifty thousand dollars for the same information i'm sharing all right but the normal price is typically three hundred three thousand dollars is what i share this information for all right if you're a beginner i highly recommend you get the newbie training all right it's not three thousand dollars just go to the page and you'll check out and you'll see what the price of the newbie training is so for you guys that are newbie affiliates that would like to achieve their first sales uh scaling to a hundred dollars a day using these methods given i really recommend the newbie training because that's going to give you that kickstarter to have major success all right so that's one thing i would really recommend for guys that's just starting out inside of affiliate marketing is jump on board the newbie training why is because that's when you can start getting that revenue in and start to see how things work all right and more importantly getting the money in getting the revenue in getting the cash in okay start making the bread the dough the guala okay start having that micro success all right and if you've been running ads for a while and struggling to break enough profit to scale i will i will really advise you to just check out the advanced advertising training so i have advanced advertising for guys that looking to you're running ads and you've been running ads for a while but you're not breaking even or you're breaking even but you're not able to scale up a little bit so in that case scenario that's why i really recommend the advanced advertising training uh with the advanced advertising training uh you gain the ability to basically understand how to add offers to your funnel how to scale up that campaign and maximize your profit margins and that's kind of like what i notice a lot of affiliates do is you're good on the front end right and, and it's easy at first you struggle with traffic a lot of you guys struggle with traffic first and then once you start to learn how to get the traffic is now converting the traffic and once you get to the point of converting the traffic now it's how to get the traffic profitable and once you get to the point of getting that traffic profitable your campaigns may get a little profit as success and you might make a little bit of money and then it may drizzle down and so the campaign may last for like three months four months or something like that but how to take that campaign from just a little bit of profit to maximize profit over time and great for helping you scale up on your ads and becoming more profitable on the back end with your campaign to increase your longevity profits of your campaign there. All right. So that's what the advanced advertising for is. So you can increase those profit margins. All right. 
And also for more hands on training, I will really recommend uh, you get inside the digital bootcamp. With this bootcamp, I walk you step by step on exactly how to create campaigns for how I create campaigns for my clients and also CPA offers. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I create my can clients campaigns. I'm, I'm showing you that and also CPA offers and how I track test optimize with different CPA offers or affiliate offers. All right, which is great if you need to connect with a community of media buyers and also affiliates that can take your career to the next level. So like I said before, you want to join that winning circle and that's what the digital bootcamp is great for. Why? Because you have a group of affiliates that is in that circle that's running ads, that's doing different things that you could talk to, you can network with, you can gain more business and information from. All right, so that's why I would really recommend joining the digital bootcamp. Why? Because now you seeing hands on, this is how this works. This is how these guys are setting this up. All right. And and then last but not least, the monthly revenue growth. With this, I personally walk, walk with you to build your campaign out. I will be setting up and managing and monitoring the ad spend and ad revenue ROI, ROA on a monthly basis. So return on your ads on a monthly basis for your business. So with the monthly uh, revenue growth, basically I set up your ads, long story short, and I manage it and I make sure that it's looking good. And it's more like with the uh, monthly revenue growth, I do, so I set up your ads, you watch me set up your ads, all right? And then we set up a campaign together, we do this, you and I do this together, and then I watch you, I make sure that you're doing it correctly, all right? And I correct you on your mistakes, so it's not like, oh, I see you set it up, and no, I'm telling you, like, you fucked up, so this is what you need to do so i correct you on your mistakes all right so that's what we do on a monthly growth monthly revenue growth and that is a monthly thing where we making sure the campaign is profitable there okay hope you guys enjoy this training there's something special like i said i got something special for you it's a coupon code <laughs> so you don't have to spend all your money on this today you can save 20 percent all right coupon account exclusive exclusively for those of you that watch this training fully so if you got this far in the training you got a coupon code great uh for you to receive a 20 percent off all my training programs here today by using coupon code g720 all right just by using g720 and going to g7 products right here and now you can come over here to one of the trainings here and then now you can basically say hey this is what i'll be receiving and then now you click access and on here on this checkout page you'll be able to basically apply the code inside the checkout page and so that's what this code is for here so obviously you're loading a little slow i don't know why uh, it could be a network issue or something but yes apply this code get results i will most definitely see you guys inside